I grew up in a rural town in East Otago, a place called Waiko Edi. It was a good upbringing. I did everything that my non-disabled brother and sister did. That meant doing things like making the bed, doing the dishes, helping out around home. Yeah, I was encouraged not to make any excuses. One day when I was five, I thought I got myself stuck yelling out to a mum or whoever would listen, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I can't, mum, I can't. My mum came out and said, yes, you can, Evan. You can do this, Evan. And went back inside. But I figured out if I zigzagged, I could eventually climb up the hill. Um, unbeknown to me, it was years later that mum said that she didn't know if I could do it, and she was watching me the whole time from inside the house. My disability was growing up thinking I didn't have one. In my dreams, I was the all-black winger. I think um, your dreams and your visions really shape who you are and what you think you're capable of yourself. Spina bifida means split spine, and uh, that just simply means the messages from your brain don't get to your legs. Um, I'm paralyzed from the waist down. Swimming was my main sport, but I also picked up wheelchair racing. Dad's a carpenter, but he, he figured he'd like to have a go at making me a racing wheelchair. The racing wheelchair he made did me well for five years, including representing New Zealand three times in that homemade wheelchair. Broke um, the New Zealand records in wheelchair racing from 100 metres up to the 1500. Later on, I had uh, scoliosis of the spine, so uh, severe curvature of the spine. My spine was um, got to 147 degrees. It meant that I was collapsing a lung, um, slipping discs. And um, so the, the answer was to have an operation to straighten my spine and put rods in. The, the operation was um, so huge, a 12-hour operation. It was 50-50 whether I made it through or not. I put uh, just death wishes, I guess, on, down on paper um, and notes to loved ones just in case I didn't make it through. And because I sit three feet below everybody else, you get ignored, overlooked, um, seen as not important. Um, I still don't like being in big crowds. You just can't be part of the conversation, you know, when you're not at other people's level. My heart cries that dis disabled people no matter how severe an impairment are included. I believe fully that if someone can go yes and no, um, that people can have a whole lot of control in life and long to see people um, not just included, but feel they have a real sense of belonging where they, where they live, in their community, in their church. Um, yeah, I think there's a whole lot to be said about love and belonging. No matter what life throws at you um, and what goals you have, uh, there is always hope. There is always hope.